Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Drankus Dungeon. I had some chips ahoy. I want a pizza. I'm not hungry, I just want a pizza. And I wonder why I'm fat. Ugh. Read it, boy. Yeah, look at that. Journal entry. I trampled past. Who cares? Ooh, my wife texted me. Curious is the trap maker's art. His own efficacy had witnessed by his own eyes. Bleh. Alright. I'm not gonna... Man. I know I talked about the Friday Night Roguelike Season 2 being uh, a lot for... You know, longer, longer stuff. More of a, more of a chance to do things that would take longer to do. Look at that, four damage, that's pretty good. But like, man. This is the fourth episode running about Darkest Dungeon. And uh, they could, we could keep going with that. Honestly. And I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly comfortable with that, you know? Oh, you got bodied. No, don't stressfully encant me. Oh, yeah. Pizzazz. My wife texted me. Honey, if you're watching this, I'm telling you that I'm recording the Darkest Dungeon drinking game. Take that, you fuck. What is this? A Blight Charm. Uh, blight Resist. I guess that's good to have. Ooh, a bust. I love busts. Aw, oh, bitchin'. I love the chance to use my shovels. Even the cold stone creamery. I went to a cold stone and I had eaten so much garbage the day preceding it that I didn't actually have room in my stomach to get cold stone. And so I didn't get any cold stone, and I feel upset about that. Because there was. I. There's no cold stone in the city I live in. So I was just kind of out of luck. I <laughs> couldn't get any cold stone. But that's okay. I had other tasty things that day. Go in the door. Jesus. I know that this game is not really meant to be played with just the mouse, but like... Man, I want to. A tempting goblet! Let us see if you are tempted. Ooh. Neat. Poison you. Nice. Bump in the night. Another Holy shit. Well, that's pretty great. Eight? Yeah, that's eight. Nice. Sedated. Gold. Great, an unsettling passage. Does it say you have to text a girl first if you're interested? At all my lesbian friends. What's up? Poisson.
friend for the old gods. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Cleansed. Ooh, look at that. Now you're getting four for five rounds. It's not actually that worthwhile, but you know what? That's fine. Aw, oh, man. Whatever. Oh, good. It was useless. Oh, I could have had the knight, the, that guy, do a stress heal on someone. That would have been cool. Well, whatever, that's fine. What am I doing here? I'm scouting 90% of the rooms. Come on. What? I can't play Darkest Dungeons just because I'm drunk? You're drunk. I want another snack, though. I don't need, like, a whole pizza. Like, I'm not there, you know? I don't need to eat an entire pizza. All right, from this point, I can just actually leave the damn thing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just I just had this thought. <laughs> what if it what if the move was like things that goes dumb in the night? It's like the stupidest thing I've ever thought. <laughs> goes dumb in the night. <laughs> Oh no, it's going to be funny every time. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, money. I love that. Heirloom's great. Wow, what a nothing. That's another one of the things about... Ooh, good. Battle. I want that. That's not one of the things about Darkest Dungeon. Sometimes you, like, set up and you get really lucky and it goes really well. And then just, like, nothing happens. It just ends, you know? It doesn't end so much as it just stops. It's not a problem sometimes. And, like, I kind of wish it was a little more consistent. I don't know. Sometimes I complain about things that, like, most people wouldn't complain about because it's a part of the genre. Like, what are you going to do? Complain about a roguelike? Well, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a pedant. I'm pedantic. Yeah, get him. Nom, 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 nom. See, like, I've been doing great on my dodges and stuff. Uh, ooh, you need that. Hard skinned. That's cool. Alright, big fight. Cool. Blight. I'm out of vodka, guys. But, like, I've been recording for part of all of this. Fuck, wow. 
I've only not recorded for like a very little bit and like you've seen almost everything I've done on camera. I've like, I've not been drinking that hard. Blossoms. I tied a knot in my pants by accident, I'm sorry. Yeah, get him. See, like, if I had to fight a boss right now, I'd be so ready. Cause look at how much, look at how, look at how kitted out I am. I've got enough food to stock everyone up. I'm basically ready for everything else. Like, what's even gonna happen? You know? Look at that. Ooh, treasure, though. That's good. Let's do this battle, because, fuck, I need to, I need to justify all this, like, food I bought. I actually just got groceries in the real world, too. Just regular bandits. <laughs> Whatever, man. Alright, I think my next one's gonna have more vodka in it. Cause like, I'm good. I feel good. But like, <laughs> I'm almost having trouble staying drunk, you know? Shut up, Wayne June. I'm gonna win this fight. The tide hasn't turned. They just did a little damage to me. Fucking Wayne June. Where does he get off having such a spooky voice? Oh, I'm playing. Damn it. Shame. That's good. It's good that I hit him with a with a low roll because he wouldn't have died otherwise. Cool. I mean, this guy wouldn't have. You probably understand what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Annihilated. Annihilated. This expedition at least promises success. It does promise success. I've practically already won. Let's just do this last thing, because why not? You know who's full of shit? The guy who wrote Fault in Our Stars. That guy is such an asshole. Green. John and or Hank Green. One of them is an author, and one of them is cool. Ah, oh, I can't leave, though. To fall for such a little thing. A bite of bread. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Wow, yeah, I'm just completely done. Wow. All right. Uh, irrepressible. That's cool. And resilient. Oh, that's useful, actually. That means I'll get 11 instead of 10 whenever I get a stress heal. Uh, level restrictions removed for next quest. Is that good? Alright, you gotta pray. Drink. Gamble. Dial can probably just sit, you know? I'm fine with that. I'm always low on money for a little bit after this sort of thing. Deeds. 
Again, I need more deeds. By this sort of thing, I of course mean... Getting an upgrade so that I may do stuff. Hear ye, hear ye. Level restrictions removed. So what does that mean? Are they all going to be, like, whatever level? Level 3. Well, that's not good, then. Okay, let's sort by level. Dismiss is getting in here. Pidover is getting in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get Moonville. And let's kill a Swine King. And let's remember to... Uh-oh. I've returned with more booze. This is grape juice and vodka. Really shaking it up. Oh, wow. It's like Arizona. It's a grid. Alright. Gonna have to avoid any... obstacles. Oh, shit. Okay. The lid was on, guys. It didn't spill. Don't worry. Great. Come on. What are you? Oh, well. Come on! Fine, I guess I'm getting... Ugh. Ugh. Ten damage! And blight! The hell is that shit? Fuck that. Oh my god, that sucks. I'm gonna have to like track to where the boss is and get him dead quick. Room battle with treasure. Ooh, there's a shovel in here. Only money. Money's good. Ooh, I've got some curry in the fridge still. I made some curry for my friends a little bit ago. And because I made it with a lot of because I made a lot of curry, there's still a lot of curry left. Because I made it for like six people. I made it for four people. But one of them hasn't asked me for any food yet. Oh fuck, I'm out. Right. There's the boss. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna get this done. Like, the boss? I, I can just get that boss done, you know? Oh, bitchin'. Look at that. All those good things. A ghoul and a swine... Um... Oh, I can make a hard-boiled egg, too. I love hard-boiled eggs. I guess you guys aren't really blight-heavy in this part of town? No. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, I've started to make hard-boiled eggs more uh, more often as of recent. Oh, but it would have been so good if he had been able to stab him with the thing. Damn. That sucks, so I'm going to drink for it. Bro, what's your weapon? Hand. I really like the Abomination as a character. He's really cool and unique and doesn't afraid of anything. Six damage. You've got more health than six. My friend, I know how to do math. And eleven is higher than six. Drums of Doom. That ain't good. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's pretty bad. 
Luckily, we can now start to bleed you dry, you fucking monster. No. You're supposed to be bleeding, you fuck. Okay, we just gotta do four damage to him. Oh, look at that. Easy money. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, look at that. Moonville is reliable now. You heal you. Ugh, cultists. The occultist is a very interesting class because he has a mechanic wherein he's got this thing called word reconstruction where he can cast a spell and the spell will like, the spell has a very wide range of what it can heal. The range being like 18 in a game where like a normal life bar is a maximum of 29. He can heal, like, 20. So, suffice to say, yeah, he can heal a lot of you. But he also has a chance to heal nothing. And what's worse, the move has a chance to bleed an enemy. So, you can heal nothing on a guy, bleed him, and you're in a worse place than when you started. Or, you could heal, you know, 20 and be in a really good place, and that's kind of interesting, I guess. But overall, I don't find the risk worth it. I just like using more reliable classes like the Vestal. It's one reason why I have a Vestal in almost every party I, ha I have. Because the Vestal's really good. All right, what do you got? Six and six. Oh, man, we're taking a beating. Breathing heavily. Is the next... The next is the boss. Well, shit. How about you get a little heal off, huh? Monocles. Okay. You're in a little better place. Eesh! Wow. That was what I needed. <laughs> So the good thing about this is that now I just have a freedom to just really patch myself up really good. Yeah. Who's gonna stop me? And you just hit him. All right, smoke and deal. Let's go kill this boss, huh? So, you would think you'd want to kill the little guy, but in actuality, that's an awful, awful, awful thing to do that you should not do, never not do, never do it, never do it, it's bad. It's really bad. Oh fuck, I punched my microphone with my shoulder. All right, let's transform. I love you, Abomination. What is this? Ray keeps going up. Right, right. Rake is a good move. That's great. Holy moly. Bit of squeal. Thank you for avoiding that, sir. Thank you very much. So yeah, 
The cool thing about rake is that it just keeps going up in damage. So you use it, and then you use it again, and then it just keeps going up in damage every time. And this, we're just going to keep stacking bleed on him, so he's taking another six per round, no matter what. Sorry, fam, but that's the way it be. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, better drink for that. All right. Let's play it safe and heal myself. Ooh, that's good. Bit of squeal. Oh, damn you. Stun sucks. I hate stun. Alright, let's make sure you're patched up. You are going to bleed some more, my friend. See, if you kill Wilbur, then this guy goes absolutely nuts. The lore of this thing is basically that um, the ancestor was trying to figure out eternal life for some bollocks. Yeah, let's be ballsy. I wasn't thinking. He was trying to figure out, like, eternal life or something stupid. And he was like, yeah. Pig meat is really similar to human meat, and it is. Um... I know that because of Mythbusters. Did you know that Adam Savage has a YouTube channel? It's really cool. He does lots of great stuff on there. Ooh, Dismas. God, if we lose Dismas at this late stage, I mean, this late stage by like, I don't even think it's number 20, or uh, week 30, rather. Number 20, Jesus. Okay, Moonville, you're at Death's Door. I know. All we gotta do is kill the Swine King and we can actually just go the fuck home. Ooh, two crits on the Swine King. And look at that, 12 damage per round. Look at that damage, though. All right. We're getting a lot of death store. Ooh. Oh, hello there, sir. My cat's here, everyone. Mm. Let's do a proper for real heal on you. I think you need it, sir. So what's Rake at? Rake is still just 20%. Oh, so it's not cumulative. Fuck. Or is it? Oh, it is. Wow. Okay, so it's only nine dam- only nine damage. We got two boys on death's door. Oh, come on. Damn it. Whatever. Hello, my son. I can sign you to hell. All right. If he his next turn, he's dead. Oh, survive it. Ooh, girl. Shock me like an electric kill. Didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah. Point out a gun. Oh shit. See, that's what I was talking about with Wilbur. Leave the small one alone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh boy. Dismas, come on, man. Paranoid, huh? Hey, stop that, my son. My little cat is right next to me. Oh, Dismas. Please, cat. Come on. The second that this guy gets a turn, he'll just die. Oh, Jesus. That was stupid. I forgot that it's whenever. Bit of squeal. Stop! 
You're being a boy. You're being a bad boy. You're being a bad little boy. You're being a boy. Squell. Yep. Oh my lord. God, if I, if I hadn't if I had just not hit him. Stop. You're really dumb. And look at that. Death blow makes you do less stuff. Making it harder to succeed when you're at low health. Blueprints. Okay, we definitely need that. Camouflage cloak. Oh, God. Oh, oh, let's... Can't I use the firewood? Sanctuary. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. All right. So yeah, unfortunately, there's a whole lot of treasure in here, which means that I do want to go around and look for more treasure. Ah, oh, great. Oh god. Complete the quest. So a heart attack is just what happens when you hit maximum stress. It drops your stress down to 20, but you die. Well, you drop to zero hit points, which means you have to watch out for death blow. And since bleeding will proc death blow all the time, that's not good. Munville die. That's a level four guy. Oh, that's so much of a time sink. Week 27. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you got to gamble, huh? What about you? You're just going to meditate. And you want your, your lady. <laughs> And you are a little bastard. Where do I buy chips? I love when he says that. It's like, can you guys help me out? Oh my god. Leather. Uh, how many leeches does this take? Man, I don't know. I'm the highway man. I make ends meet. Just like any man. I'll knock you out, drag you off the road, steal the shoes right off your feet. I'm the highway man, and I make ends meet. Uh, this costs portrait and crests. Why am I crying? I'm like, okay, what the fuck? I'm like actually crying. What's happening? Bassett's boozing. Oh, man. We got all the ladies of the cloth in there. And also the one guy of the cloth. Um, Who's got a bad one? You got a lot of them. Let's just group them by level. Because we got to rely on these guys to faithless. Can we get you in here, dude? Oh, it's so expensive. What about you? That's better. 
Oh my god. We can't keep fielding things like this. We need to... We need to... Sell things. Yeah. Okay, who are we? We are not using occultists. So sell that. We're not really using the leper. Junie's head. That's a good one. That's for anyone. That's for the abomination. We're not using the houndmaster. He's a fun class, though. I will admit. The... the that guy's fun. The houndmaster. Cool. What's the farmstead look like? Ooh, money. And a plague doctor skill. Oh. All right. Let's let's do that then, huh? Let's see if we can't do that. Uh, we don't have enough people who are level three though okay what about the ruins we've got you and you what do you guys have okay okay Russell you're not really helping me with So let's see if we can't get you in here and train you up to... Oh, let's upgrade at that. Steal the shoes right off your feet. I'm the highwayman. All right. The skirmish. This is a long one. So... Oh, it gives us deeds. So let's not bring... Let's bring you. And let's bring Picard. The Inquisition. Ooh, let's get that, huh? Yeah, let's get, let's get that. Let's get two rows of torches. Let's get three of those. Let's get two of those. Uh, and let's get a few more torches. And let's call that there. Now, we were at like 20,000 before, and if we don't have that when we get back, I'm going to be very put out. Okay, room battle with a curio. Wait, what do you mean he's got a debuff? Ugh, he's got a bleed resistance. Why? He's afraid. I don't understand. Bonemans. Ah, we surprised them though. That's another thing that doesn't actually make that much sense. How are we surprising guys? If we're like really, really bright, you know? Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, let's just scoot you guys up there, huh? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, let's hope that your speed isn't that high, huh? Okay, so if you go, you're dead, but we're going to kill you. With impunity. Everybody in Wayne June tonight. Demonomania believes he is possessed by demons. Well, that's not good. Ooh, that's a big chest. I love big chests. Everybody loves big chests. I wonder if like, I, I bet I could ride an isekai. I mentioned because I think that's an isekai. Everyone loves big chests. It's like... Come on, man. I get it. It's like titties. It's like boobies. It's like milkers. Oh, God, that sucks. Okay, let's have you heal yourself. Okay, you're back up to full, Percy. Therefore, 
Well, that guy is... That's pretty good. That's pretty alright. Six damage. Get out of here. That's way more than what we need. Five damage. What do you have? You've got eight. Quarrel. I hate that. Man, we've got 36 foodstuffs. Yeah, look at that. Cool. All right, where to next? This isn't that big. I almost don't want to say that for fear of jinxing it. Crap. I never use holy water. I don't even know what it's for. Oh, good, he dodged it. Thank you. I'm very happy you dodged that, my friend. I want some Cheez-Its. I keep having weird cravings during this recording session. Eh? Wow. Thank you. That's judged. Ooh, look at that. That's good. That's good. I like that. It's good. Dazzle them. We got a little torch back. I like doing that to save money on torches. So how much health you got left? Ooh, not very good odds of killing them in one. What about you? Dodge it. Ah, oh, well. 17, that's all right. Do you quarrel, sir? Ooh, don't bleed me. Oh, that's definitely going to be a bleed. At least it'll boost the light a little bit. Uh, do I have anything that'll... I do, actually. Oh, we're out of waffles. Sorry, I just remembered that we're out of waffles. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. You know what? What the hell? Why not? Yeah. Who else has wound care? Ooh, does anyone have a disease? We can get rid of that. We can knock that out right now. No one has diseases. Damn. That's fine, though. Sorry about that. Except I'm not actually sorry at all. My beautiful, beautiful wife texted me and was like, Hey, I want to call you so I can wish you a good night. And I was like, the light, deal. The promise of safety. Well, shit. Treasure. Oh, it's almost nothing. Whatever. 100% of room battles. Yes, Divine Lords, I am here. Whatever. I mean, I wanted you to have it anyway. Empty sack. Don't you hate it when sack empty? All right. Room battles. So I don't actually need to go into anything that does not have a room battle. Wow, so much money. 
Um, boop. Goodbye. You can do that, right? Thank you, Picard. God, I was watching Dune with my wife a couple of months ago. Uh, and she was like, which one is he in reference to Picard who's in that movie? Um, what's his name? The guy. Bald. He hasn't aged in 40 years. I got vodka in my nose. Sir Patrick Stewart. That's his name. Um, she, she was like, which one is he again? And I was like, that's Patrick Stewart, my love. And she was like, no, which wizard is he? Like, as in, which wizard is he from the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> because she knows that there is one binary set of old men who play some guys. Um, I guess we'll throw this away and we'll take the money. Oh, God. Whatever. Because she's like, yeah, one of them plays Gandalf. One of them plays... One of them plays Saruman. But, like, honey, no. Magneto plays Gandalf. But this guy is Charles Xavier, who isn't in Lord of the Rings. You're thinking of how... That's kill you, why not? You're thinking of how what's his face? Destroy them all. Yeah, how how one of them plays Saruman, one of them plays Gandalf. Gandalf is Magneto and Saruman is Count Dooku. Ah, oh, come on. You piss. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, and all the stress comes in. Great, here we go. Anyway, that's what I was thinking about when I thought of Picard. Oh, lovely. What's your problem? Bleed resist? Oh, right, right, right. That's still a thing. Holy shit, so much damage. Dismiss's head and... Hot ziggity. Sedated. There. Doesn't have to be fucking hard. You goddamn foul vapors. I got tetanus. I suppose that makes sense. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's let's head up here and do this. One thing, I kind of want to use the torches, but I don't want to just start throwing torches in the trash. Because then I'll feel like a right pig's ear. Oh, you fuck. Stun him, quick. Stop him from working. Yeah. Hey, this will be tight, but we might be able to kill him in one. Damn. Not taking a chance with that. Ears. Vision. The end approaches. I'm starting to run out of vodka. That's not cool. Oh, thank you. Oh. <sighs> Five damage total. That's not bad at all. Oh, 
Fuck you, cockhead. Uh, oh, I can actually cure that. That's good. Let's do that. Oh, my wife wants a selfie. Anything for her. Die. Be gone, you foul thing. These right. nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. I can leave one painting. Loot. I love loot. I do need busts. Also, 16 torches, that's probably enough, right? <sighs> yes, Divine Lords, I am here. Wow, he's doing a lot of damage. Foul smelling. You know that Iron Maidens were never actually used? They were really just there to scare people because they look like a fucking super villain, awful. They look scary, suffice it to say. Damn. Oh, thank you. Stressor. That's bad. No! I love it when the booze hits my upper lip. The ground quakes. All right. Let's pizzazz you guys. Let's pound on you. Decimated. Decimated. All right, let's see if we can get a stun off, huh? Look at that, perfect. Perfect. Get the torch up. Obliterated. Obliterated. Ah, uh, 1,500. Oh, oh, we can just eat. Yeah, look at that. Nice. None wasted. All right, now we gotta start going back, which is a little unfortunate. And it's a long way back to, oh, hunger, great. Now I don't have any food for the, mm. <sighs> Random hunger checks, it's so obnoxious. Like, at least in, like, like what? Like, Minecraft? You got, like, a hunger bar. It's like, hey, you will be this hungry. This is the function of hunger. And, and being full does things, as opposed to it just being, like, a way to fill up your health. But, like, in another game, that would be accomplished with, like, a potion. All right. Yeah, look at that. I've been watching a lot of Kiwami Japan recently, um, and if you don't know who that is, Kiwami Japan is a really weird, interesting YouTuber who makes knives out of everything. And what that means is he uses all manner of uh, chemistry. Damn you. Wow, that's quite the stun, wouldn't you say? Fucking. 
He uses all manner of chemistry and other things to turn things that are normally not very hard into things that are very hard, and then spends a couple of years sharpening them, sharpening them into a knife. It's not actually a couple of years, but it is a very long time that he spends on sharpening, you see. All right, we just need one of you guys to... Oh, Hand of Light. Cool. He just spends a lot of time sharpening them. That's all. It's just a joke. You don't even have to... Don't read into it. So, like, um... What did he recently do? He recently... Ooh, that's good. I need that. Should I? I'm gonna. Gosh, should I? I'm gonna camp. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. And on yeah, let's do that. Yeah, like he sharpens things. Oh, fuck. I could have done wound care. Ah, oh, well. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. So, yeah, what does he do? He makes knives out of things. So, like, he recently he made one out of... Semi-recently. He made one out of a crab. He made a crab knife. Um, and how he did that is he took a crab uh, and made... Did a whole bunch of chemical processes to the chitin of the crab. Until the crab was... Oh, shit. Until the crab's shell was completely transparent. And once it was transparent, he then turned it into a, a knife. Um, just by using a bunch of other chemical processes to essentially make it into like a dough almost and squeeze it together and melt it down and then squish it into a knife shape. And then he made it very sharp and then he like cut some avocados with it or, some, or cucumbers rather. He cuts cucumbers with it. Cucumbers are usually how he tests things. For whatever reason. God damn you guys. Yeah, get fucked. So he's stunned, so... What's that, six? He's got six, great. Perfect. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. So like he made a knife out of milk, which is a relatively well-known um, process. Basically, you can make a plastic out of milk, uh, chemically speaking, a plastic. Um, you know, so like it has the same, it does the same things that a plastic would do. You know, like a normal, like a, a toy that you would buy at the store would have the same properties. And so you can make a plastic out of milk by mixing with like alcohol. Which he did. And he demonstrated it by showing a type of mixed drink that if mixed... I think if you mix it improperly, it will just make those weird cloudy things in milk and it'll be plastic. Compassion is a rarity in the fever. Pitch of battle. Cool. Oh yeah.
What's your speed? I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. How dare you suggest such a thing? Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Gotta get my hand off my dick and fucking push the button. Spiders, how fucking dare you? I'll have you know, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> You're gonna regret this. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder if I should have become a VTuber. Because, like, I know I'm cute and cute regular style, right? But, like, what if I was literally anime perfect cute all the time? Like, un... Impossibly cute, you know? Just... Exceedingly fuckable, no matter what. Wouldn't that be great? What? Am I going down a thing I've already gone down? Or does someone just smash? Whatever. Man, people talk about Neil Cicerick era. They're, he's like a really good musician. <laughs> like, no shit. He's such a good musician. I was listening to... um. Touch Tone Telephone again recently because I love that song. I am the only one on your AM radio, your AM radio. All right, you you could do with a little less stress, honey. There, there you go. And we'll buff the light. Yeah, eat shit, you fuck. And now I'm just gonna tend. Wow. Uh, what about this? Less good. Well, let's kill you. Ugh. Holy fuck. It's starting to really get to that time of the night. I can really feel it in my fingies. Oh, eradicated. Oh. Oh, sorry. Should I not make those erotic noises? Oh. I need more simps, you know? People who are just totally willing to just be like, yeah, you should fucking give this guy a, a subscription. Yeah. Um, fuck. Um, I guess I'll throw away these shovels. The money is a little more important to me right now because I haven't come across anything. You know, that's true. I have a lot of loot, and I have, like, no supplies. Like, if I had a random hunger check, I would be fucked. No one could do anything about it. It would really... It would just ruin my day. Ah, oh, fuck. Get him! Annihilated. Annihilated. Alright, let's zealous... Let's zealously accuse them. I love how it's just showing them a really mean piece of paper and it's like, oh shit, he's for real, you know? Yeah, I dodged him. I didn't get more water. That's okay, don't worry. I'll drink water off camera. You don't have to worry about that. I'm a good boy and I will drink water. How about you heal her? Thank you, honey. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I don't even know where to put this. Uh, you take it, I guess. Oh shit, I should have considered. Well, don't bleed. Oh, whatever. Take that, you fuck. I don't need the jester's die. It's decorative. Yeah, me too, dude. Sparkle of coin, I see? Loot, cool. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyone else need it? Nope. All right, top off, bud. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, now I'm going to have to try to be a little more careful about my torch usage. And again, I have bought too many torches. I guess that's what you get. Yeah, that was a good use of stun. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so good at video games. I really gotta finish that Dark Souls Let's Play that I started a couple of months ago. Because, like, I'm good at Dark Souls. I want to beat it because, like, I want to have a Dark Souls LP done and ready and, like, on the channel, you know? Oh, Arborblast? Fuck that. Because, um, like, I love Dark Souls. And, like, it's one of those games I might even go back and l replay, you know? Because, fuck, Dark Souls is so good, you guys. Dark Souls is overplayed nowadays, but... There's a very good reason for that, and it's because it's one of the greatest games of the console generation that it was originally on. Not of all time. I don't know if I'm willing to say that. I bring it up because Dark Souls has a lot to do with Darkest Dungeon. Because, like, look. Look at that. That's basically an elite knight with his Y-hander. Look at that motherfucker right there. You see that guy? It's like spot on. Like, come on now. All right. Who needs a heal? You're. I guess me need heal. Really cramping my style that I don't have a. Uh... Uh, the 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 wide heal for. What I really want is to just reduce your stress a little bit. How does that feel, bud? Is that good? I'm glad. A momentary abatement. Wait, shit. Have I miscal- I haven't miscalculated. That's good. Let's fuck that guy up, though. Ooh, girl! Fuck. Uh, let's do it. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because maybe we can get through it really quick, you know? Quick reflexes. That's a good. You know what I love about the, the, the phrase goods, like economic goods? It implies that there are bads. Just economic things that don't do shit. That's really, that really works for me. Loot. If only treasure could stop uh, yeah, sorry. Oh my god, I'm so fucked up. The screen keeps blurring. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I've been recording for an hour. You surprise? That's against the rules. <laughs> Why'd I do that? I got vodka on my shirt. I've got to suck it out. Such a good idea. I can't stay. <laughs> Alright. I, I literally can't stay on screen. If I were to hold my camera the way. 
<laughs> oh, pardon me. That's a bad boy thing to do. And not like bad boy, like, eh, but like, that's a bad boy thing. Oh, girl. Shock me like an electric eel. Oh, you were missing 10 health. I should have healed you. Ooh, nice. Now you're only missing six. Wait, those numbers don't make any sense. Ah, oh, fuck. Should I throw out a pile of money? Okay, what is... Let's throw out a sapphire. Oh, we're good. Well, in that case, let's just... You know? More deeds, moon cloak, and a lot of money. Beast Slayer, a stress eater. Look at that. That's a good one. And I am now too... Alright, so what have I done? The ruins, the necromancer, the prophet, the swine prince, the insured flesh, the swine king, the siren, and the farmstead. And then... Wow. And then I have to get one motherfucker to level whatever, to the max level. Ooh, a new vestal. Good. A sister of Pious and unrelenting. All right, stress, stress, stress. You're such a bitch. How fucking dare you? I'm feeling like really good, but like, I don't know if I can actually record another. Uh, let it be known that if next week a video comes out and it says Drunkest Dungeon. Um, Sorry, I had a cat hair in my mouth because of the cat. I own two kitties. They're both very beautiful. Vash and Vengeance. Vash is brown and white because he's a little cow cat, and that's why he's named Cow in French. Vengeance is such a little sweetheart. One time we took him to the vet, and the <laughs> veterinarian, he had a he had a little stress problem going on because he's like his papa. He's like me, and uh, he was stressed. And so we took him to the vet, and the vet read his name, and he was like, all right, well, this is how I die. But he was just the sweetest little boy ever because he's so good. You don't understand how good he is. Look. He wanted to see me, so he's saying hello, and look, he is sleeping here. He is good. Oh, I love him so much. If you see another video go up that says Drunkest Dungeon, I waited at least an hour to try, even try recording another one. Because fuck, man. This is hard. This is bitter work. I'm, I'm busting my balls here for entertainment for you. Do I get thanked for it? Sometimes. I could do with, like, a million dollars. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so hot. Like, you know the thing where you're drunk and you see people and you're like, you normally I wouldn't fuck you, but now... I think it's like that. But I was already hot, and now it's like, I've just got to rip my clothes off and just fucking go wild. But, like, I don't have, like, a bussy to go wild on. I mean, like, I guess I do, but, like, I can't go wild on it myself with my own dick. Oh, my fucking God, my clock stopped. <laughs> so, I have this clock, right? It's this, it's this kind of clock. And it has a picture of Bouette inside. Uh, but as you can see, the clock part of it stopped. And sometimes that's what I look at when recording. Instead of, you know, the fucking clock on my computer or the recording timer. 
Why did it stop though? Did it run out of batteries? That's pretty stupid. Anyway, yeah, I have this frame picture of Bouette. But if that's weird, wait until you see the framed picture of Tony Hawk that I have. Which is a real thing that I have. I also have this picture of Kamina from Tengen, Topa, and Lagan. My favorite anime of all time and possibly one of the best animated... You know what? Fuck it. It's the best animated thing ever. Better than Over the Garden Wall. Suck my ass. I need to stop recording for the night. I'm going fucking insane. I need, I need water. <laughs> I need water because I'm so... I've had so much liquor. <laughs> I need more water. My, like, mouth is foaming. Ugh. Anyway, uh, that's a good Darkest Dungeon, so I'm going to close it. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so what the fuck is even going on right now? Um, for an likes. I should still be playing Morrowind. Uh, oh, my my playthrough of ODST should be going on right now. Um, who, some people may know this if they watch, but um, I play all of the Halo games. I've played almost all of the Halo games. Um, I, I've so far played up to two, but... Right now, there should be an LP of Halo 3 ODST going on um, because that's the next one, technically. I play them in order of timeline, not order of release. So that's why I started with uh, Reach and Halo Wars. Um, oh, my fucking God. So uh, there should be an LP of Halo 3 ODST. I have a second channel uh, that plays that... Uh, is just doing a Attack on Titan reread podcast. So if you ever had an interest in Attack on Titan, that would be a good thing to go and watch. If you were disappointed by the ending, that would also be a great thing to go and watch. Of course, I don't know a single person who liked the fucking ending of Attack on Titan. So who knows at this point? Um, I have a whole other... Sh I have a whole rest of the season of Friday Night Roguelikes. I have a whole other season of that. I've done like 50 roguelike videos by now. You should go watch all of those. I have an excellent LP of Morrowind that might still be ongoing. And the other thing is, is that I'm trying to do that. All the things that I'm doing in my Morrowind LP in the real world, which is pretty unique and pretty cool. If I do say so myself, I'm so smart for coming up with that video idea and you should watch it. My wife helped me do it. She's so beautiful. Oh my God. She's stacked. I love, I love my wife. And I should cut this recording because I'm, having to stop myself from f referring to the things that referring to my wife by the things that only my wife is supposed to. I've said too much. I'm Alfred and I'm fucking blackout drunk. Of course, I'm not going to blackout because I'm Irish. I don't know if you know, but my name is El Friedrich Conchobar Vincent Phoebus Kimbrel hyphen Sullivan. And like so many of those are Irish. There is not a liquor on the planet that could make me submit. But I uh, I need to have some curry. I'm really hungry. I really want some curry. So I'm going to stop fucking losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do things right? <laughs> oh, God. What if I need to stop? I just need to stop the recording. That's all I need to do. I just need to stop the fucking recording. I'm Alfred. This has been Trunkus Dungeon. I will wait at least an hour. And have some water and curry before recording the next one. If there is a next one. Suffice it to say, if there is not, you will probably understand why. Because holy shit, I'm so fucked. 
I love that my wife has given me the opportunity to just fucking get blackout drunk and play video games. Okay, bye. Watch more of my videos. Subscribe if you want to, I guess. Um, I'm Alfred at Short Rail Friedrich. I'm the biggest dick OG and I'm so, so pretty. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. I love you. I mean, I don't know if I... Uh,